Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 14th of 2022. Well, it is titled NGC 1566, the Spanish Dancer Spiral Galaxy. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a spiral galaxy and we are looking at it face on, meaning we're essentially up above looking down at it, seeing the distinct spiral structure. Now spiral galaxies can appear in a variety of orientations depending on how they happen to be pointed toward Earth. So we see some face on like this where we can see the spiral structure and we see others edge on where we just see them as a flat disk. And that just depends on the orientation. We can't see them from various different views because we cannot travel the tremendous distances needed to be able to look at them from different uh, points of view. For example, this galaxy is 60 million light years away. So if we wanted to travel to see it from a different perspective, we would have to travel tens of millions of light years to be able to get to a perspective to see it from a different point of view. Now, this is also an example of what we call a Seifert galaxy. A Seifert galaxy is a type of spiral galaxy that it has an active nucleus. And that means it has a supermassive black hole at the center, which is in the process of consuming material. Now, most galaxies do have a supermassive black hole at their center, including our own Milky Way. However, many of them are simply quiescent, quiet. They don't do a whole lot. They're just sitting there. And unless they're actually gathering material, the black holes don't do a whole lot there. But when material spirals into a black hole, it can be heated up to very high temperatures and can give off a lot of energy. And that's what we note from some of these Seifert type galaxies. And we can also see a lot of the star forming regions around here. The pink areas are hydrogen gas that is glowing from the formation of stars. Newly formed stars will appear blue and you see a lot of blue coloring within the spiral arms as well. The pink color from hydrogen gas is the ultraviolet light from those stars and it excites the hydrogen gas and causes them to glow. So when we look at a spiral galaxy, some of the very uh, distinct things that we see in addition to the spiral arms are the blue color of those spiral arms signifying newly formed stars and the pink color of the hydrogen regions. Now we know these apply to relatively recent star formation because neither of these last for a very long time. Many of the hot blue stars may only live a few million years before they're gone. So the fact that we see so many of them means they must have formed within the last few million years. And that's otherwise we would no longer be able to see them they would have gone through their lives and essentially be gone. So when we see stars like that in a galaxy, we know that it has formed stars relatively recently, such as this one. So that was our picture of the day for January 14th of 2022. It was titled NGC 1566, the Spanish Dancer Spiral Galaxy. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.